Hi, it's time for another math easy solution turn to discuss another linear approximations video and now look at uh, basically differentials notation. This is just some useful notation that's used a lot in mathematics, especially in linear approximation. And this is basically dealing with this dx and this dy uh, notation right over here. So basically I did an earlier video on uh, introduction to this uh, and also an example so you can make sure you watch that in the video links below on linear approximation. But now I'll go over this quickly. So basically if we're given y is equal to f of x where f is just a differentiable function, meaning you could take the derivative of it or a derivative exists. Then the differential dx is an independent variable, which basically means can be any real number. So you can just pick it any number. Then the differential dy is then defined in terms of dx by the equation. dy equals the derivative um, of, of f of x or f prime of x times dx. And basically dy is a dependent variable because it depends on, in this case, x and dx. And if you're given, let's say, if dx is not equal to zero, then we are given that, then you can basically divide by dx on both sides and get dy over dx is equal to f prime of x or the derivative. And we all know this, this is just notation for a derivative of, um, yeah, for the derivative of f of x or Lebanese notation. So anyways, um, the geometric meaning of this, yeah, so let's say first we're given, uh, I'll just draw this x, y uh, coordinates here. This we're given uh, this graph right here. This is f of x. And let's say this is just a tangent line. Yeah, so this is just a tangent line to f of x at this point right here. And we'll call this point, let's say, x right here. And let's say you were to move from here all the way up to this point right over here, which is x plus delta x. Then uh, in this case right here, we would basically move up from, if this was y, y of x right here, or f of x, we get basically a movement up from here to here. Of In this case, this would be our delta y right here. So when we go from x to x plus delta x, we go from uh, basically f of x to f of x plus uh, x right here, or in other words, you can write delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x. So it's just a difference between uh, this top part and minus thing by the starting point, and this is f of x. So that's this point right here, but, uh, but with, since basically this derivative right here, f of x, this is actually just a slope of this tangent line, so what this dy means in this case right here, the geometric meaning is basically initially this would be delta x, this difference right here, but this just equals to d, d of x. So it's the same thing, but, but when we look at the differential of y or dy, this is the new difference, what would be right over here. Because we're, we're looking at the slope of the tangent line right here. So we would go up like this and move it over here. So this would be our dy. Yeah, so basically, uh, yeah, it, it dy and, and delta y are not the same thing, and thus just to finalize this or just final final notes, the slope of the tangent line is the derivative f prime of x. Thus, by uh, thus dy or differential y represents the rise of the tangent line when running by x. The same thing as delta x, and uh, basically, because never the tangent line, the slope is just rise over run. So you're running, and delta y represents the rise in f of x when running by d of x. Yeah, but by dx. So basically, this is a rise in f of x, and then the dy is rise of the tangent line. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this quick video, and remember, you can download these notes in the link below. And also, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another math easy solution.